Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on our software testing bootcamp where we are talking about the fundamental concepts of software testing. As a part of this, we are in chapter eight talking about quality characteristics testing and we are continuing ahead with the next segment which is to talk about 8.6 portability testing and uh, portability is all about, you know, talking in sense of how to move an application from one platform to another platform or could it be about testing the system in multiple environments? Let's figure it out and understand what exactly portability testing is in reality when we talk about it. To get started, the very first thing is to talk about the basic definition to portability and portability is just not limited to which uh, is the first meaning which comes to our mind that it is about moving it from one particular environment to another environment. Now, as the name suggests, it looks like that, but it is not limited. In fact, the definition is slightly different. We are talking about portability, but the application is being tested into different target environments at a time. We are not moving things from one platform to another, but we may have different target environments which our consumers are using and they want to use this product. A very simple and relative example is when I'm trying to build a mobile application, I may be targeting Windows, Android, and iOS as my platforms or environments where this app will be used. <clears throat> and this is where I may conduct the portability test to make sure that my application is able to be downloaded, installed, and deinstalled, etc., and it works in different platforms the way it works in any other platform. So testing a newly built application into a target environment is what we call it as portability testing. And it's just not defined and measured by this definition alone. There are several sub characteristics of portability testing, which we target as a part of uh, this level. And they are called as installability, adaptability, and replaceability. Let's talk about each one of them uh, and understand a little deeper that what portability is all about. In order to talk about the first one, we are talking about installability. As the name suggests, we are trying to install an application first of all. Of course, there are a lot of functional tests which we conduct to make sure that a user finds it convenient to use a system in terms of performing several actions, transactions, and operations on a system, what it is meant for. But these all can be done if the system can be downloaded and installed on a platform or intended environment. So installability is basically conducted on the software and written procedures to check if this can be installed and deinstalled, which can be called as un uninstall as well in the target environments. Now the target environment is the word being used that whatever you are targeting to launch this particular product. It's not necessary that you need every single environment to be measured here. You might be initially launching your mobile application for only Android and later you might be doing a bit of modifications to launch it for iStore as well, like App Store as well. Now it's, it's up to you what is your target environment and again it's just not limited to the major scale like Android, Windows and iOS. Even within that you're targeting different operating systems like version 10, 11, 12, 14, whatever you are having in the scope we are going to install them in different operating systems within the platform as well and then test it. So the major intention here is to make sure that a user is able to install an application and perform necessary tests to measure that all the functional aspects of the system is working as expected. And on the other hand, at the same time, the deinstallation part is where the user is allowed to remove the application from the environment at any point of time. And it should be uh, much convenient for the users to go ahead and uninstall the app. It should not be restricting them. Of course, another example which hits my mind right now is when you talk about the uh, service providers or the make uh, of the, you know, the phone which you're using, they generally come up with some inbuilt uh, applications. And those inbuilt applications are not supposed to be deinstalled or basically cannot be uninstalled even if you try to. 
So in that context, we have conducted portability testing there as well. But this time, the intention and objective was that a user should not be able to uninstall these applications when they buy our phone. Now, this is where portability acts as a key aspects in terms of quality characteristics, where we are just not measuring your uh, parameters of functional correctness, completeness, and appropriateness. We are also talking about whether an app can actually be installed or not uninstalled at any point of time. So here, validating that the different configurations of the software can be successfully installed, right, and in different environments. Testing the functional correctness of installation, and at the same time, you can try with the deinstallation as well. Performing functional test after an installation to make sure that post-installation the system is working as, as expected in the target environments, and identifying any kind of usability issues in the installation or deinstallation procedures to help users give more convenient to do the praise process altogether. So installability level or a sub-characteristics of portability simply means that a user should be able to download, install, and at any point deinstall the application. Talking about the next one here is adaptability. Adaptability is all about getting adapted to a particular environment. Sometimes it does happen that your app is built in such a way that it may not work with lower configurations of your system or environment. Uh, necessarily, like when you talk about uh, application these days, may not work with Ice Cream Sandwich or any older version of Android. Or even if you're talking about operating systems of Windows like XP or Windows 7, the newly built applications are you know, apps may not be so compatible with them. Even if you try installing them there, it will prompt you with an error that, hey, this is this is an app which is not compatible with your operating system. Try upgrading uh, to a newer version of operating system, which allows you to do the installability. Now, adaptability is more about <clears throat> checking whether a given application can function correctly in their target environments. And the target environment is not limited to the softwares, we are also talking about various hardwares, the middlewares, operating system, and any other application like add-in plugins which might be supporting them, right? And adaptability is more about, uh, you know, finding an approach to measure these things. And this can be done by designing tests that basically identify the various combinations of the target environment, like, you know, one is to one, one is to two, one is to three. 2 is to 1, 2 is to 2, 2 is to 3. So having a pairwise combinatorial technique or permutations and combination of different uh, target environment parameters can help you build that uh, set of test cases where this system can be tested and measured for its adaptability towards different target environments. So team uh, users can just go ahead and try it in different target environments and measure the adaptiveness of the same. Coming to the third part of it is replaceability and as simple as that, when you buy a car, you are looking forward to, you know, assume that when anything goes wrong, for example, if your headlamps gets broken, then you don't really have to buy a new car. All you need to do is visit a service center and ask them to replace your headlamps and it's all done. Now, replaceability is technically being related to when a code, which is already live and being used by the users, can be replaced for a new code or not. And we are talking about updates. So when you get a notification that, hey, there's a new update available for this particular application, and when you go to the store and update your application, it should not impact the existing data, what you have stored there, your existing settings information should not be lost. And we just want to try that and measure it by validating the replaceability. Now, replaceability basically focuses on the ability of software components or versions within a system to be exchanged by others. This may be particularly relevant for system architectures based on the Internet of Things, where the exchange of different hardware devices or software installations is a common occurrence. Now, you pretty much know that if I'm talking about IoT, let's take the reference of your AirPods or, you know, the earbuds which you use as a Bluetooth. Now, the system never asks if you're using a musical app or any kind of other you know application to listen to music they never ask you hey you have you changed your headphones no you just buy a new one and uh, connect through bluetooth unless you 
pair the device and allow you to listen to music. It, it just can be replaced, right? The similarly, you know, any other examples can be taken into the context and understood that. It simply means that the software is ready to get those replacements possible and function as it is what it was doing earlier uh, with the older, you know, component what it had. So replaceability test should be performed uh, by the testers parallelly with functional integration test where more than one alternative components is available for integration into the complete system. And you can try with all these combinations to make sure that your replaceability concept is well tested and the user shouldn't be facing any challenge while working with this. So portability put together is all about a level where it certainly gives you a great understanding on the installability of the software, talking about the deinstallability, getting adaptive to the various environments, and also talking about replaceability of any components from a used application, right? So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.